Yeah, quick AFK. Quick AFK on my end. Let's quickly talk through it. The Z Necro setup. So the idea behind the Z Necro is actually pretty easy. So the, the combination in this one, uh, the big combination is Land of the Dead plus Devara. So Land of the Dead spawns 20 corpses per second around you in a 60 yard radius. All right. That is what Land of the Dead does for you. You don't see the corpses, they are invisible and that's what it reads for all corpse skills can be used at will for 10 seconds. Basically means you have like uh, 200 corpses around you over the duration. Uh, I shouldn't say over the duration because there is a rune that actually increases the duration. So just remember, you know, for each second you get 20 corpses per second and a 60 yard radius randomly around you. Okay, and you can use those, those corpses. Those are invisible, but you can use them, alright. So the Vower, uh, basically, you know, it consumes all corpses in 60 yards around you. So you just hold down this button. All right, this button has no casting animation. It has no cooldown. It has no cost. Okay, so you just hold down the button and it will repetitively apply Devour. All right, so you, you devour all the corpses, which means you shoot 20. So you consume 20 corpses per second, right? So look at this one here, two, pay, two piece set. Each corpse you consume fires a corpse lens at a nearby enemy. Right, uh, I'm not sure if that that's random or that's the closest nearby enemy or you know, we actually don't know yet, at least. I don't know. If anybody in chat knows that played PTR, go ahead, shoot us. Um, but that, this combination here, so you know, clicking Land of the Dead, holding this button down and the two piece proccing all the time, right? That is for the Rift Guard because Brittle touch. Enemy become brittled, increasing the chance to be critical hit 5% for 5 seconds each time they are hit with corpse lands. This is stacking, alright? So you give 100% crit chance for the whole group on a rift guard. That is the idea, alright? So any single target rift guard DPS can unequip all critical hit chance. And you just can go for attack speed and reduce your, you know, internal cooldown of stricken. It's retardedly strong for Demon Hunter, because Demon Hunter can also uh, unequip uh, the passive, the single out was it single out not sure if that's the correct name but the passive that you know gives them 25 percent critical hit chance right versus a single target basically so you can for demon hunter it means uh, all critical hit chance into attack speed uh, also means that you know getting a gg holy point shot i'm not sure how that how hard that will be but you can remove all critical hit chance go full yolo on attack speed and you know that's if you are paired with a zinigan and echo right the necro can pull this off all time, right? So just click this, hold down this button. This gets shooted all the time. You don't even have to click it, right? And you give 100% critical hit chance to everybody, right? Hey, uh, Rift, Rift Sky, hey Sky, welcome back, I guess. All right, so this is the first first part of the, you know, what what you do. That is just the Rift Guard thingy, right? And from all supports we have in the whole game, this is by far the strongest thing you can do, right? Like, I mean, that's by far the strongest we have ever seen a support support on the Rift Guard, right? Giving to the Rift Guard DPS a uh, lower internal cooldown on Stricken because he can, you know, go on a, he can just go ham on attack speed, right? So that's the, the first part of it. Jesus, even getting a host here. Let me quickly check who, who is the kind fella, Mr. JMF. Mephiel, I hope you had a great stream, dude. Thank you oh, for I the- I forgot to ask you. <laughs> thank you for the 12 viewers. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it. Um, so, you know, that's the first part, which is the Rift Guard setup. So those three skills are only here for the Rift Guard, right? Nothing else. Uh, the Frozen Land is also really nice in a way that, uh, you know, it freezes everything periodically for eight seconds straight. And this is a retarded, like basically the single best APD procker you will see in the game. From all APD procking abilities, this is by far the best one. Um, so the idea here is you use the Bricks Wrath, which is a pixel pull that works on elites. So this is basically exactly the same as the Wizard pull, just better, all right, just on steroids. So the range is a bit closer. The Wizard has 30 yards, this one is 25 yards, right? And you just uh, pixel pull with Decrap. So you cast Decrap, everything gets pixel pulled, even elites. So it doesn't only count on lesser minions, it counts on everything. So, you know, any elite that is non-Joggernaut, you can pull it on a pixel pull, right? So what you do is pixel pull it, right? 
you pixel pull the elite, and then you freeze everything, and you will have an insane pixel pull APD proc on, you know, for the Witch Doctor. And the Witch Doctor benefits double from it, right? His APDs plus uh, pixel pull is pretty good on Witch Doctor, right? Phantasm range is pretty small, and you know how Witch Doctor works, right? So there you go. Uh, so the first part was the Rift Guard component, then you have, you know, the Rift component, which is Land of the Dead, plus Devour again, so you consume corpses, and for each corpse you consume, you, you know, 20% chance to get a health globs, which is pretty good, right? So, if you remember I said 20 health globs per second, right? So, 4 health globs per second spawning here by pressing that button, pretty good, right? That's a pretty good thing. Alright, so that is, uh, you know, in the rift, you will have no issues to support with enough health globes. The Witch Doctor for his gruesome feast and maybe enough for healing compared to... Probably not enough compared to Monk. Alright, but you hope that you will get enough damage mitigation in here. Next thing is you apply all three curses with Simulacrum. So when active, your curse now... Your curse skills now apply all three curses, alright? The base rune of the other two, which is frailty in that case, and leech. Leech only works for you, but frailty is a beast. So you know, what you do is before you apply any curse, you pop this once, like you just pop it, and then you make the pixel pull. Then you click this one, you hold this one down, down, and you spam this. All right, that, that's how you, how you play the game in the end, as in Z Necro. So you have no teleport, no blood rush because it's too tight on the skill bar. Right, it's way too tight on the skill bar. So at the start of the rift, basically, you start running. Uh, you see a stack where you want to go in, click this, click this, make a pixel pull, right? Which doctor is in position, click this, hold this button down, spam this button. And then, you know, the rest is pretty easy, right? Globes get auto spawned, you pick them up or somebody else picks them up for you. You hold this button down until you have this again, right? And then you just continue. It's always the same thing, right? Click, hold down, cast. Click, hold down, cast. Every 30 seconds you click this once and you click this once. Every 30 seconds. You never click this earlier. Right? Because if you keep them cursed and you apply Simulacrum and they are already cursed, you don't apply the curse, right? So you don't apply, reapply frailty. So a huge mistake would be to click the Preprify at any time where you don't have Simulacrum up. Hope it will work well. Well, let's hope so, right? Let's hope it's enough heal and enough mitigation for the Witch Doctor. Uh, you can go shenanigan-wise, uh, you know, you can go for the Baby Sank is what I call it. Baby Sanctuary on Vigilance, right? Getting hit has a chance to automatically cast an Inner Sanctuary. It has an 8 second uptime, right, with a 15 second internal cooldown. So guaranteed 7 second cooldown, right? Yes, that is a Monk replacement right there. That is a Monk replacement, it's not a Barb replacement as of now. Barb just gives too much consistency to the group. That's a Z-Monk replacement. That's, that's how I plan it, right? But usually, yes, since, you know, Barb is the only class that can provide globes right now. Barb is fixed for Witch Doctor DPS. Uh, this combination, however, like this triple combination, and you would always include this with a 2 PCR, right? Always. Uh, this combination, however, is very potent when it comes to healing and uh, globe generation. So in total, in total, uh, we are looking at if you wanted to switch out the bar, right now you cannot. But if you really wanted to, now you can, because now you have a different source of globe uh, generation. What is a pixel pull? A pixel pull is a 